Hey everyone on YouTube, this is Brian with Modern Day Computers and I'm going to show you today on how to uh, keep your wallpapers from changing in, in the background. Now, you saw in my last video on setting up the Go Launcher that, you know, I set up, you know, Galaxy, which, you know, it is moving, so, but the problem with uh, the Kindle is that if you always know that uh, the lock screen, every time you boot it up, you know, it will change. And in this case on Go, Go Launcher, you know, it sticks. You know, they're nice wallpapers and stuff, but, you know, they really don't make much sense. So, you know, and then it does that, and, and you have to unlock it. You know, you get the idea. Let's get a good one. And it's cameras. Yeah. So, basically, you know, I'm going to show you how to uh, keep your own wallpaper. So, if you want to, you hold down the screen. This is in Go Launcher. You have to have a rooted Kindle. Uh, I've shown you in other videos how to root it, how to install Market, and how to uh, uh, install the Go Launcher. I am not responsible if you break if you break the Kindle. Please be careful, but if you follow you know, what I do, you should be fine. Don't go with other files and you know, change in the permissions and stuff, because if you mess that up, you're screwed. So, you want to go... So listen, i got to hit it myself. So you want to hit wallpaper, live wallpapers. I'm going to go to Galaxy. I'm going to say set wallpaper. Okay, it's really pretty. And it turns. So now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to Root Explorer. Now, I told you in the video of rooting the Kindle Fire that this was the free version that you should support the uh, developer. I just did. I, this is the full version, the most up to date version of it. So please buy the app. It is th it's $4. It is really worth it. Because I've tried other uh, Root Explorer apps, and they just and setting the permissions and stuff it just was it just didn't work very well. So when you get into Root Explorer, you want you'll be if you bought if you bought the app, you'll be asked for super user permissions. Say yes. Then you, you click on Data Folder, and then the Data Folder again. And then you come down to this, and you're looking for com.android.settings. You click that, and you click files. It'll come up as wallpaper. You hold down on it, and then this list pops up. You say permissions. You want to uncheck owner right and group right. And you click OK. Now, if you want, this prevents the wallpaper from changing. So, basically, you can hit home where you just back out. And therefore, when I hit the button, turn it off, bam, there it is. Now, the other cool thing that uh, I discovered was that even though we took off right permissions, if I hit wallpaper, I do live wallpaper, and then I say Nexus, say set wallpaper, it does that. Now you might think that, oh, we, we took off write permissions, you know, so this is just temporary. Well, no, it's not. What we actually took off was, you know, the system, preventing the system from writing to the file over and over and you know giving it the new wallpaper unfortunately these live wallpapers let's get into oh yeah you can uh, pinch and get to I'm going to go over here because it's clean you know I can't do I can't you know interact with the screen I need to find out how if that's possible because I know I can do it on my uh, Android phone so that's how you set the wallpaper. It's really cool. 
you can download live wallpapers from the Google Market. I did show you how to did show you a video of how to install the Google Market uh, and stuff. So again, this is Brian with Modern Day Computers. Have fun and geek out.